Hi, this is Julia, and this is Katie. Say hi. Hola. So, get, so what am I doing on my computer today? Service pack, and absolutely I won, so. You don't, they don't even know what we're talking about. First of all, I'm doing the WCUS offline update, and it decided to install the service pack for Windows 7. Yep. The Windows 7 Service Pack 1, I'm installing it through the WCUS offline update. I decided to try the tool. Um, I did the automatic reboot and recall, so um, I, that might be why my desktop looks messed up. I'm not sure, because it restarted when I did that, and it logged into some account, and that's not mine. So I think it made a new one or something for the updates to restart or something. So it has all this writing, and this is the first time I've ever used it. And it's taken a while because this update takes a really long time to install. And I thought it was going to do .NET Framework first, but she thought it was going to do the service pack first. Right? Yeah. However, to believe it or not, Katie was actually right and I wasn't. Because I've never used this tool before, and it downloaded .NET before it downloaded this one when I was doing the download. But the installation, oh, yeah, it did... Wait, this is just for my YouTube channel, and it's not going to be embarrassing or anything. So... Anyways, I just want to show you, I'm, I'm actually tried this tool, you can get it at wsusoffline.net, I think, I mean, part of the website's in German, but you go to download, and you hit download latest version, and it's all in English, so, it's a very useful tool, it'll do all the updates, even auto restart for you, it'll make, like, in, in, install times real, much faster, so I recommend you guys try this tool, it's really useful. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and yes, this is my la new laptop, which I've had it, but, like, it's gonna be my new computer, so anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you like this video. Alright, bye-bye.